Hello and welcome to another Rock Climber Life video. I am your host, Jeff Zafford. Today we're reviewing carabiners for belaying. And what that means specifically is different size carabiners and different uh, models of carabiners for belaying, which means you're going to be connecting your ATC or belay device or other belay device such as a Grigri to the carabiner and then connecting this to your belay loop. But first, let's see how to choose a proper belay carabiner. The five carabiners I have in front of me would all be good choices to, for, uh, for belaying purposes. The two in the rear would not be good choices in my opinion. So how to choose a belay carabiner. A lot of times belaying carabiners are also called pair beaners or HMS carabiners. The reason they're why they're called pair beaners is the obvious shape. They look like a pair. One of the attributes of a good belay carabiner is that they, ha they are quite large in comparison to other carabiners which are smaller and they also have a very large opening and a large basket. This area right here is large and uh, just slightly rounded or somewhat flat. When compared to these others, these would not be good choices because the opening is small and, and the rounded part is very tight. So this would not give you a lot of room for a device and two ropes if you were repelling, for example. The same goes for a carabiner like this. This would also not be a good choice because of this sharp angle. So now that we know how to choose a good carabiner, let's look at some individual models. The first model is the Omega Jake. This is made by Omega and uh, some of the attributes of this carabiner are that one negative is that it's very thick. Uh, the actual, the actual uh, material, the aluminum, is quite thick. And I, the reason I do not like that is, for example, when belaying with a Grigri, the hole is a certain size in the Grigri, and it's somewhat small. So to put the Grigri onto this carabiner, it's quite tight, and there's not a lot of room to wiggle back and forth. One positive attribute of the Omega Jake would be that the gate opens sideways and this allows more clearance to uh, put the ATC in and the rope in and you know other things you might hang on this carabiner. So the, so the, so the angle is uh, it's an interesting design. I don't know if it's really if it's really you know that revolutionary or that great but it, it's interesting to say the least. Uh, personally I've had some negative experience with Omega carabiners this one in particular has held up okay, but I've uh, used a couple other Omega ovals similar to this. This is a Petzl oval, but I've used some Omega locking ovals for uh, top roping several years ago, and I wore grooves into the carabiner quite easily. In just several sessions, I, uh, I wore pretty significant grooves, and that really kind of... Uh, it really didn't inspire much confidence in Omega Carabiners as a, as a company. So um, just for that fact, I don't know, I don't think this would be my first choice at all. The next company we have uh, is Black Diamond and they have, for example, they have these two carabiners. Um, this is the, the Parabiner and this is their smaller carabiner and this is the Rock Lock. This is their larger carabiner. Both of these are uh, more cost effective than the Petzl carabiners. Um, but they're overall, I mean, they're excellent carabiners. Uh, this, this smaller carabiner would be my first choice for uh, belaying with a Grigri. For, the reason for that is, is that the carabiner doesn't need to be excessively large when belaying with a Grigri. It just has to be large enough to connect to the Grigri. The Rock Lock would be my first choice for belaying with an ATC or repelling with an ATC because there's lots of room here for one or two ropes to be inside of the carabiner. Both of these have the uh, key lock, 
so they will not snag onto the rope. And when you, when you close these gates, they have some play in them. And this is actually a positive attribute. If I can bring back the Omega back into play here, uh, just so I can compare, because I forgot about that earlier, uh, the Black Diamond and the Petzl are both designed in the way that when you, when you lock the, the screw lock, that there's some play. And what that allows is that they, they won't bind up on you. What happens with a, with a carabiner that doesn't have any play is that if you load this carabiner and further tighten the lock when you unload it, it's, it's stuck that way. So then you have to load it again to give it that slight, uh, that little bit of stretch and then you can unlock the screw lock. So that is, that's another, actually that's another negative of the Omega. Going back to the Black Diamond, uh, like I said, overall excellent made carabiners, uh, no complaints at all, and uh, just, a, just a very solid, both of these carabiners, the Rock Lock and the Parabiner, both excellent choices for Belang. The last company is Petzl. I think Petzl uh, makes one of the highest quality carabiners on the market, um, but they do come with a price. They are more expensive than the, than the Black Diamond carabiners. But they have a level of just elegance and design with these carabiners. Um, so this, this is the Petzl Attaché, uh, and this is the Petzl William. Uh, the William would be uh, an gr excellent choice, my first choice for belaying with an ATC, similar to the, to the Black Diamond Rock Lock. Uh, and the Petzl Attaché would be my first choice for blang with a Grigri because of its smaller size. Both of these carabiners again have the uh, key lock nose design to so so there's no snag with uh, with uh, when you're removing it from the rope. Uh, the William is very very large and has a very large opening. You can see that when this gate opens, it almost opens horizontal to the carabiner, so it has a very large opening which. I think is, is really nice. Uh, the, the Petzl Attaché has uh, a similar opening to the Black Diamond Par Parabiner, very, very com uh, you know, comparable between the two. Um, one nice thing about the Petzl, Petzl Carabiners, is that they have this little red paint here, so you know when they're locked. Um, you, you should be checking this anyhow, you know, manually checking, but it, it is a nice feature. So overall, uh, the Petzl Carabiners are slightly more expensive, but the design is superb. And with that, that concludes our Carabiner Review. I'm your host, Jeff Zafford, with another Rock Climber Life video. Check out the blog, rockclimberlife.com, for more. Thanks for watching.